Octane Family Fun at Summit Motorsports Park. Voted America's Best Drag Strip. NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing returns with the Summit Racing Equipment NHRA Nationals. Buy tickets now. have been heading to Summit Racing Equipment Motorsports Park all morning long. Here, tension equals trouble. Pressure pushes man outside the envelope where the bad things happen. The NHRA heat has been on this weekend in Norwalk. Rain reduced qualifying to two sessions, so the teams got little data on the newly paved track. And that created... Oh, it's chest thundering. It's awesome. It sends all your sinuses into like a panic attack. It hits your chest and it makes you go backwards, man. Explosion. When you're watching them warm up, you're just feeling the your chest thumping like that, and you know they're just about to like hit the throttle. So you brace, you got your feet wide, and you're just waiting. And then when they hit it, you jump, whether you know it's coming or not. It's awesome. <laughs> The fan. Oh, one of the great traditions when you come to Norwalk, Ohio at the Summit Motorsports Park is ice cream. They serve gallons, hundreds of gallons, thousands of gallons of ice cream. It's part of the summer tradition here in Ohio. And you know why? That's one pound ice cream. <laughs>
big fire. Good news is he won the match and he is moving on to the semifinals. And then back in Robert Height's pit right now, they're working away, getting it warmed up. They face Jeff Arend in the semifinals here at Bristol. We're about to get underway. It's been a rain delay day, but it's also been a good one. Yeah, you guys like that? Isn't that cool? Let's get you caught up on Top Fuel.
number two position. Doug Herbert uh, gets ready. The lights are on. And Herbert just rockets away. Nice run. A 457, 320 miles an hour for Doug Herbert. Since being the runner-up at New Jersey until just now, he's not had a round win. Now, let's see if we can tell what happened with Corey Mack here. See if he goes in that tire shake just like we saw with Melanie. The car just, no, it just drove right up into tire spin immediately. Just didn't have enough grip for the horsepower and clutch. They were trying to put the track at the head of the throttle. And at that point, he just watches Doug Herbert pull away to a very nice run, 457, that gets him into the next round. A couple of onboards for you, Mike. Yeah, you're going to watch as soon as Corey hit the throttle, it was done. Doug Herbert was just gone. Eight cylinders hooked up and heading down the middle of that racetrack and into the next round. You see Doug there, he had his hand on the brake. He was ready in case that thing went into shake early. He was going to try to save the run, but he didn't need to. And once it got past half track, he put his other hand on.